Right then guys, today's job is to fit this lower control arm to the front here. So, recently at Cleveland EV, they said this would be a MOT failure. Uh, because the rubbers are perished on the one that's on the car. So, basically I'm repairing this myself. I've got an MOT box in for tomorrow. And hopefully that's all good once this part's fitted. There's a part number. If you need to uh, find this for yourself, and it's Febby Bilstein. So yeah, let's get cracking. All right, guys. So the wheel is off. So what you want to do next? Uh, let's get back there. Let's undo this bolt. I believe that's twenty-one mil. Millimeter. It's really windy today, so hopefully you can hear me. And then I've got to lower this bit under carriage and then get to the bolt under here and I'll do that. Right then, that was that nut taken off. This is actually 22 millimeters, okay? And this one's got a built-in washer on it, which is obviously the original. Now the one that comes on this, hasn't got a washer so it's recommended in the Tesla service manual that this should be replaced now I didn't buy another nut and washer because I thought that would do it but I'm tending to think now that I might put this one back on I will put this one back on because that washer system on there because it's like a separate washer if you can see and the way it's been machined right so there's obviously a reason that's on there so I'm gonna stick this one back on temporary and then uh, I'm gonna order a nut and then get around to replacing that because like I say that is recommended to replace so if you're doing this make sure you order a nut unless you're ordering an original part uh, which I still probably think you'd have to order the nut separate, separately anyway. Seems like the aftermarket parts come with a nut. But they are different. Alright. So next, we'll 10 mil bolts, take that under tray. Uh, down a bit and then get to the other bolt there. And then hopefully that should come off. This part here has done 122,000 miles. So, as you can see in the video, quite easy to come out. You got to pull it around this way, and then just like manipulate the plastic uh, covers here to to get out in between. Um, there is a nut on top, so you've got to undo the nut from underneath which is 21 millimeters, and then uh, once it loosened, I just held the nut on the top with my hand, loosen the rest of the nut off. So yeah, wasn't too hard to get that out. I was worried I'd have to turn uh, the wheel that direction to try and get this arm out, because initially I didn't think it was gonna come, but it does. You just gotta pull it out from the back towards the outside of the car, and then down through the plastic. And, oh yeah, and this bit, I used an Allen key which fitted, so that one just about fitted. You see it's wobbling, but it done, done the job, but it's a star bit, okay? So for future reference, you need a star bit for that. On the new one, it's an Allen key. Alright. So, depending on where you get this arm from, it might all be different. And there's the two parts side by side. Original, got the Tesla badge on there. Aftermarket.
UK weathery. Got a stop start with these showers that keep coming and going. Right then peeps, that's it fitted. She's in there and she's in underneath. Torque settings. This one's 180 and the bolt on that one is 115. Okay. Now like I said at the start, I will be getting a new nut for this. This is temporary. Car's going for an MLT tomorrow. I'm gonna to order one of them today, so this will have to be redone. A few pointers. It's worth just releasing some of this plastic. You don't have to take it off completely. You can do, it will make it easier. But I managed to do it while all this was still in place. Obviously, if you can jack the car up high, even higher than this, it'll make it easier. And once you get this end in, it feels unnatural to keep pushing this down to get it into the hole at the back of this part but it will go if you keep pushing it down it will go into that hole and then once you push down far enough you can get the nut underneath and then tighten that up so it recommends in the manual to tighten that up first and then tighten up that side and uh, yeah that's about it I'm just gonna get the wheel back on get everything else buttoned up that's good to go. I reckon if I was to do another one of these, I could get that done in about an hour, hour and a half. Last but not least, wheel nuts, 175. Newton meters. 